Okay, since my pre Premium Pro is being an ass, I, I should record it using my phone. Okay, so I was trying to make a video about what I just discovered. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you guys. This is a model that's already curated and downloaded from DeviantArt. I haven't I have not edited them at all. This is a head model from HB Squishy, which he has allowed me to edit them. As you can see here, I'm edit I'm actually adjusting and sticking them to the base model using OP. As you can see here. I'll skip this part. This is uh, Robai's fifth rival. I forgot her name. Ritsuko, was it? Oh, let me check. Ritsuko, yep. Her name is Ritsuko. As you can see here, it takes time for me to glue them together using OP. Now, recently, as of yesterday, I discovered something that I could bypass the old PMX editor. Now, we go to MME. Select Sub Extract. And look for, in this case, I'll be removing her head and her hair. Now I have a base model. Let's skip this part. Using the OP to glue the head towards the base. Now her hair, I'll just skip. And voila, you have Kizana Sunobu in the concept art. Now you have Kizana Sunobu in the concept art. To end this video, I would like to thank and appreciate all MMD curators for your time and effort in making these wonderful MMD models for me to use for my project. I would also like to apologize for editing your models without your permission. I have learned it the hard way but was forgiven since he allowed me to edit his models. I swore to never edit MMD models unless it specifically allowed me to. I'm not sure if what I have discovered is a loophole, but I hope this could pre help prevent or help other MMD curators in protecting their MMD models. This is Jason Wright. For now, I'll see you off.